Uh, standard treatment for hemophilia A for a long time has been factor eight therapy. So factor eight is the protein that's missing. Factor eight is, um, is, can be replaced uh, either through recombinant factor eight or plasma derived factor eight. And uh, there's, there's sort of two treatment paradigms. One is prophylaxis, which is preventing the bleeds from happening in the first place, which means you have to take factor eight enough so that you constantly have enough in your body that you prevent bleeds from happening. And then there's uh, what's called episodic treatment, which is if a bleed happens, treating that particular bleed. So prophylaxis is really the standard of care. It, it should be the standard of care for everybody. But with factor eight therapy, and it's been it's been the standard of care since the 90s, but it's quite burdensome. It requires intravenous infusions, so in a vein, two to three times per week. And so patients learn from the time they're like seven years old to do their own intravenous injections. And that's really quite burdensome. Or if you can think about parents having to do it in, this is a, a hereditary disease, they're diagnosed as infants, having to do intravenous infusions in your child two to three times a week. They do them at home. It's very, very burdensome. And, uh, and so what we've developed is uh, Hemlibra, which is an alternative treatment, which is a bispecific antibody. So it's an antibody that mimics the function of factor eight in the sense it does the same thing that factor eight does, which is bring together two other coagulation factors, factors nine and factor 10, and allow factor nine to activate factor 10. And then factor 10 does its thing that allows the blood to clot eventually. And so when you don't have factor eight, those two factors those two other factors can't come together. And Libra does the same thing. It has one arm that binds factor nine and one arm that binds factor 10 and it can bring them together. The beauty of Hem Libra is that because it's an antibody, it has a very long half-life, the time that it stays in the body. So 30 days versus 12 hours or 18 hours, 12 to 18 hours for factor eight treatments. And so it can be administered once a week, uh, every other week, or even once a month compared to what I said before, two to three times a week intravenous. And then on top of that, it is subcutaneous, so more like an insulin shot. And that's much more convenient, obviously, and you can think about doing, uh, that's something you could even consider, you, know, you can even do in a small child pretty easily uh, without having to learn how to find a vein. So it's, um, it's really a, a huge um, advantage from that perspective in, in terms of uh, improving the, the 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 quality of life that that uh, is so impacted by having to do these treatments two to three times a week. Now, in addition to that, um, when we studied Hemlibra in a phase three study uh, in patients without factor eight inhibitors, we found that. We, we studied those patients for six months prior to their um, starting on Hemlibra and then for the time that they were on the study, six months at least, while they were on Hemlibra and compared the number of times they bled prior to the number of times they bled while they were on Hemlibra. And so prior, they were on factor eight prophylaxis two to three times a week, what they had been doing before. And then, then they stopped that and they go on Hemlibra. And we found a statistically significant decrease in the number of bleeds from their uh, factor eight therapy that they were using before when they were on Hemlibra. So that's really, really, um, that's something I don't, I don't think we were fully expecting because factor eight is quite effective already, but that was really remarkable to see. And so Hemlibra has now been uh, on the, available for, approved for um, patients both with and without factor eight inhibitors since the approval for, fac for factor eight inhibitors was in um, 2017 and then the, for, without factor eight inhibitors it's been about a year. It's, uh, it's, it's been really increasingly used and people have really embraced it. Patients and physicians are using it more and more and we're hearing some phenomenal stories about the difference it's making for people. It's approved now in over 70 countries for patients with inhibitors and over 40 countries for patients without. So we're really, um, we're really proud of, of being able to influence or impact the lives of so many people across the world.